Welcome to challenge number four. We're halfway through the competition and one step closer to finding this year's string league champion. Now, we're gonna travel back up to New York City and we're gonna meet Connor from Lacrosse All-Stars. For my contest, I really wanna see people come up with a new dropped top string. We've seen a lot of top strings out there. They all kinda do the same thing. They're very loose up top. A couple of them are a little bit tighter, but I wanna see something from you, the five best stringers that we could find, that really pushes the envelope. It has to have some sort of function. It can't just look cool. So come up with something revolutionary, some kind of new top string, which is really gonna kick butt, give people an edge for whatever reason. Make sure you explain why it gives you an edge, why you chose this approach to a top string, and what it's gonna do for any player who decides to use it. This week our stringers are going to be using the STX Hammer. Personally, I use this stick, it's an amazing defensive head. It has C-channel technology and three brace technology, making it incredibly durable on checks and ground balls. You really can't play with a better defensive head than the STX Hammer. What's going on guys? Connor Wilson from LaxAllStars.com. It's my challenge this week. I asked our contestants to come up with a truly innovative, creative top string. And I didn't actually mention it in the video, didn't mention it to these guys, but I was looking for simplicity. None of them went simple. They all went complex. They all went crazy. We got five great efforts. That made judging really hard. But just on a simple tip, to show you off a little bit, this is kind of what I was hoping for. As you'll see from the, uh, the entries that we got, <laughs> nothing even like this. But, you know, the, the entries were really inspiring. A lot of the guys use traditional, love the effort. So let's get to the countdown, get to our champion. And number five, we have Mick Blackstrings. Looks great. I really like the look of the pocket. I think the stars are cool. I'm not sure that there's any added functionality and I would be concerned over time that there would be some lipping. He was able to throw the ball pretty accurately in his video, but at the same time, I'm really worried about consistency. How useful is this top string? So while it's a great looking top string, I'm worried a little bit about the functionality. At number four, we have Lacrosse Works. I like that he used a new knot. I thought that was really cool. But we've seen that kind of one top string dropped under the other top string. We've seen it before. So it wasn't all that innovative. Couldn't give him any more points for that, but I did like the fact that he used a new knot and I thought his spacing was really good. It was a really well done top string. Number three, we have FL Stringer. Did a great job. Again, the star is a fantastic look. I love the red, white, and blue, you know, He's playing to my heart a little bit, being a lax all-stars guy, but hey, gotta go on the originality of the pocket. I love the double uni knot that he used. Overall, it was a really well done pocket. Uh, I thought the top string was cool looking, but again, it, it just kind of lacked in innovation, uh, in overall innovation. So he couldn't, uh, couldn't move forward as a winner with that one. But a top three effort in this competition is really impressive. At number two, I got Richie B, 77. People might give me a little bit of a hard time for picking him because he used the Bennett braid, which is now a well-known top string. But the fact is, his family invented that top string, so it's his to use. And on top of that, he innovated his own innovation, which is a great thing to see. Put a really cool square knot right in the middle of that Bennett braid, switched up the colors, made it look like an Arizona iced tea can. It was fantastic stuff. Really impressed. Overall, fantastic work. Ace from Richie B. But our number one, our winner for the week, Jack Stringing. Really different. The bracelet idea. I never really loved those bracelets. But when I look at the top string, and I watch his video of how accurate he was with the stick, uh, what it did, how it kind of mimics leathers, I could also see it creating a channel uh, right for that ball, right as it, uh, as it kind of enters or leaves the pocket right in the middle. I was really impressed. I liked it, it was creative. He also did a bracelet. Well presented, yada, yada, yada. I hadn't seen anything like it. It wasn't as simple as this, but it was complex, it was well done, it was well thought out, and it was well executed. So, Jack Stringing, he's our winner. Check back next week, we got plenty more String League. It's coming at you. It's not a one and done contest. It keeps going. Next week, we go back down south to Maryland to one of the biggest mesh companies in the world, East Coast Dyes. Stay tuned to the end of this episode for a preview next week as well as the leaderboard. Take care, keep laxing. Hey guys, this is Greg Keneally from String League, and in next week's contest, I'm gonna be judging your skills on stringing a crazy piece of mesh, Jim Lax's Micro Mesh.